my name is Monica Garcia, and today I would like to share with you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. But before we get started with the story, I would actually like to give you a little bit of background on the story. So this is a European folk tale that is from the early 1900s, and before it was even published in any books, the author um, Robert Southey would just gather people around and um, orally tell the folk tale. Um, and today there are many adaptations of this book, or of this story, so I hope you enjoy. So once upon a time in the woods, there lived a family of three bears. There's Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear. And each morning, Mama Bear would make some porridge for the family. And one day the porridge was very hot, so Mama Bear decided that they were going to go on a walk while their porridge would cool. So they went out for their walk, and while they were gone, a little mischievous girl named Goldilocks was running around in the forest, and she came upon the house, and she thought, hmm, let's see who's home. So she knocked on the door, and nobody answered. So she went ahead and helped herself in. She saw the bowls of porridge on the table, and she decided she wanted a snack. So she sat down, and she tried the first bowl of porridge, and she said, huh, this porridge is too hot. So she got up, sat in the next chair, and tried the next bowl of porridge. And she said, hmm, this porridge is too cold. So she got up and went to the next bowl. And that bowl was just right. So she ate up all that porridge. After that, she decided that she was pretty full and she needed a little rest. So she walked over to the living room. And she noticed that there were three chairs. So she sat in the big chair. And she said, hmm. Huh, this chair is too big for me. So she got up and tried chair number two. And she said, this chair is still too big for me. So she got up and tried chair number three. And as she sat in chair number three, she was thinking, hmm, this chair is pretty cozy and just right for me. And at that very moment, the chair broke into a bunch of pieces and she fell flat on the floor. And she decided she was gonna try a bed this time. So she walked over to the bedroom and she saw that there were three beds. So she got snuggled up in the first bed and she said, this bed is too hard. So she tried bed number two. She got snuggled up and she went right down because the bed was too soft. And then she tried bed number three and it was just right. It was just the perfect amount of comfort that she needed. So she actually fell asleep. And so while she was sleeping, the bears were coming on home from their walk. So they open, they open the door and they see, and Papa Bear says, somebody's been eating my porridge. And Mama Bear says, someone's been eating my porridge. And Baby Bear says, someone's been eating my porridge and they've eaten it all up. So they ventured into the living room where they noticed that their cushions were a little out of sorts. So Papa Bear says, somebody's been eating and sitting in my chair. And Mama Bear says, someone's been sitting in my chair. And Baby Bear's crying and says, somebody's been sitting in my chair and they broke it into pieces. So the bears heard snoring and they walked towards the bedroom. And Papa Bear looks at his bed and the covers are all messed up. And he says, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And Mama Bear says, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And Baby Bear says, ah, someone's been sleeping in my bed and they're still there. And so the three bears gathered around Goldilocks. At that moment, Goldilocks was asleep and she opened her eyes and she saw those three angry bears looking down at her. And at that moment, she screamed and she jumped out the window and she ran out of that house to never return. So, um, Goldilocks learned probably to never enter a house, um, and she probably also learned that she needed to consider other people before she made decisions about herself. Um, this is a story that my family told to me as I was growing up, and I really enjoyed. So, I hope that you've enjoyed this adaptation of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and I'll see you soon.